This is an example of an online database. In this video, I will add a record to the database, edit the record, query the database, and then delete the record. On the right, we see a tabular representation of data in a database. These are the query parameters. We will change them later. This is a graphical representation of the same data using the d3.js library. This represents the minimum, maximum, average sum, and the count in our record set. We are going to change the record set, but first of all, let's go ahead and add a record. Let's click the Add Open button, and let's call it New Item and give it some values. Click Submit. Now notice we have a new item. The count is 22. The new item is in our graph and it is in our tabular representation. Notice the sum value is the sum of carbs, fat, and protein. Now let's edit the record by clicking the row. Notice all the values are populated but we're going to change the fat value to 400. Now this should add to the sum. Click Edit. And now we have a sum of 700 because we added 200 to the 500. Now notice also that the item is changed its position within the graph. We are not going to change the sort order of the graph. But we can change the sort order and the filter of the table. And we can also change the filter of the graph. This is the parameters that we're using right now. Let's change it to say, let's say that where sum equals 700, because we know our item is 700. So now we see we have four records, including our new item with the sum of 700 where it's equal. So we can change that again. Let's go ahead and click the filter button and this time let's let's say let's change the sort order. Now notice we are sorted by name descending. Now let's ask for the records that are less than or equal to 700. Save those parameters. And there's our new query. We still have the new item. Now that was greater than or equal to. This is less than or equal to. Again, we still have our new item, but a whole different record set. But if we say less than 700, then the new item is gone because it's not part of our query. Okay, so now I'm going to reset the whole query back to its default by clicking Reset. Now I want to delete the item, new item. So I click the row, and instead of editing it, I'm going to click the Delete button. And I get this warning. Are you sure you want to delete new item? Now whichever row you click on, that's the row that's going to get deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. Now, notice the new item is completely gone from the record set. So anyway, that's the Query Builder, and thanks for watching.